everybody Ann here and today I think I am going to show you my very first critters that I'm bringing onto this homestead. A few of you might already know what they are. They're in my van and they're going to be an integral part of this homestead that's for sure but you know what first I think I need to make some breakfast. Let's make some apple fritter bites. First we're going to start with one apple because this is just for Betty and I that has been peeled, cored, and chopped. Then you'll need some all-in-one pancake batter, just enough so that you can make a kind of a thick, not a dough, kind of like a paste, I guess. So let's see how much I end up using. To the batter, add about a quarter cup of sugar, more or less, depending on how sweet you want it. Then add, oh, I don't know, maybe a teaspoon, maybe two of cinnamon. Yum. Stir that all up to get it nice and mixed. I can already tell you right now, I'm going to be adding some more cinnamon. Add enough water. I actually ended up adding some milk uh, because I forgot you didn't have to add milk. You can just use water. I've added about a cup here, so I'm going to stir it up and see how it goes. All right, let's see. I think this may be right. On a two to one ratio. Oh, I don't know. I'm thinking I want it a little bit thicker than this, but. Let me get it stirred up, get all the lumps out, and I'll let it rest and see what it looks like then. I'm adding another, about a, another quarter cup and stir that up and see if that makes it the right consistency. Not quite in the pocket yet, as they say. Um, it needs to be more dough because I want it to kind of be the something you can kind of shape into balls a little bit. But um, still very soft, but once we put the apples in, that's going to create a little bit more moisture. So let's try another quarter cup of pancake mix. I can't stir this and film at the same time, but this is getting closer to what I'm looking for. So it's almost time to add the apples. I'm going to dump my apples in and hopefully not spill any. You know what, I'm just going to put this, this phone down and, and just do it by hand and then I'll come back. Apples have been incorporated and uh, it's pretty thick dough so I'm going to get a tablespoon and drop it into some hot oil. Alright, since I couldn't do this with one hand, I went ahead and dropped them by large tablespoonful down into the grease and actually I could have heated up this, um, I'm using vegetable oil a little bit more but you get the idea. So I'm only going to do four at a time. Cook them for a few minutes on one side, then we're going to flip them over. Nicely browned on one side, and I really only let them go for a minute or two, so I flipped them over. We'll let them finish on this side, then remove them to a plate. Just keep an eye on them. You can kind of flip them over a couple more times just to see if the other side is done. And these look like they are just about ready to remove, so let's start with, uh, let's start this, with this one right here. I should get a spatula. Let it drain a little bit and then just remove it to a plate covered with a napkin or a paper towel, whatever you got. So I'm going to just take all four of these out. That one needs to be done a little bit more. And then put four more in and then the next yummy step. I just got a Ziploc bag, put about a cup or so of sugar with a bunch of cinnamon in it and closed the bag and I think I'm just going to do two at a time. I've just closed the Ziploc and I'm just going to shake them up real good until they're nice and coated. Mmm, look at this. Doesn't that look tasty? You can't see it very good. Yes, it does. Alrighty, so I'm just going to keep doing that with the other two. And then by now, the others in the pan should be done. Yum! And there they are, folks, all done. A couple of them got a little dark, but that's all right. They'll, they'll still be fine. I'm going to let them sit for a little bit and absorb the sugar coating and uh, cool off a little bit. And I'm going to taste one and bring you back so you can see how they taste. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. I need to get it in focus. It's got the apple inside. The bread is done perfect. And I just took a bite. It's delicious. Mm-mm-mm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Very good. Let's see if Betty likes it. She's sitting over there shivering. Yeah, I think she likes it. So, I think my apple fritter bites have been a success. Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh my goodness. These are so good. They are crunchy on the outside. 
tender on the inside. <laughs> and that's not just a cliche. But he loves them. Here, have another bite. And the inside of them is done perfect. Let me try a little burnt one. See what that looks like on the inside. I mean, it's not super burnt. It's just a little burnt. Mmm. Delicious. Now, I think we should go look at my worms. Here is my worm bin. It's just in a cooler. And I have gone ahead and drilled some holes in the top because AJ told me I need to drill holes in it. So let's just take this lid off and see how these babies are doing. Alright, you can tell they've been crawling around quite a bit. And this worm bin is too moist. I don't know if you can see that, but there is condensation all over the lid. So I need to drill some bigger holes. And I think today I'm just going to feed them some cornmeal. Let's see what the worms are up to these days. Oh, it's not enough light. Let's see if I can tip it a little bit. Okay, and that's a little bit better. There is still quite a bit of that bedding that I bought from Walmart, which is basically just a bunch of shredded, you know, material and whatnot. But let me dig through this a little bit. See what's going on. Yep, I've got worms. Lots of worms. Now, these are a mixture of earthworms and red wigglers. So let's get down a little deeper see what's going on down there. Oh yeah, there's plenty of worms down there. It's real hard to see, so I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time in this worm bin today. But, there are a ton of worms. You may not be able to see them very well. And they're of different sizes. See, there's a semi-baby one. There's a pretty nice big fat one. Oops, I just missed a cocoon. Dang it. Oh well. I've got cocoons in it, I know, because I checked it a few days ago. But this bedding is doing, you know, I mean, it's pretty good. Oh, there's a cocoon. Can you see it? Right by my thumb. Let's see. It's hard for me to see in my camera because of the light is weird. But there's a big, fat, oh yeah, a big, fat cocoon right there. Yep. So, the worm bin is healthy. It looks pretty good. Whoop, that may be the same cocoon. It could be another one. I don't know. Let's go to the other side of the bin. Um, and I haven't really been feeding them much just because this bedding is food to them. And there's so much of this bedding left. Oh, there's another cocoon right by my thumb. Right there. So they're still laying. Oh, there's another one. There's cocoons all over this, okay? It's hard for you to see. You have to kind of train. Oh, there's another one. Whoa, they are really laying very well now. Oh, look at this big baby. Whoa, that's probably one of the originals. It's still alive. Um, this is a piece of an apple, and it doesn't look like they like apple peels very much, so I'm just going to get rid of that. Um, let's see what's over here. More worms. I love it. Here's a baby worm. See, look. Little baby worms. Oh, and there's an even a smaller baby worm. Can you see that? So there's worms of all different sizes. And cocoons are everywhere. Look it. Look at more baby worms, big worms, little worms, all kinds of worms in here. So, let's see here. This bedding doesn't feel too, too damp. Oh my gosh, there are cocoons literally everywhere in this. That is so exciting. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go grab some cornmeal and we're going to feed them some cornmeal. That'll help dry the bin out a little bit. And now it's time for the cornmeal. Give them a little bit of nummies to eat. Tomorrow I may add some coffee grounds. Um, but for right now, I'm just adding this. Um, like I said, it'll help dry it out a little bit. I think that's plenty. 
So the, burn, the worm bin is doing really well. I'm very, very happy. I mean, it's just like all of a sudden the breeding has exploded. For the longest time, I didn't see any cocoons, but then I started seeing a bunch of them. I went through and counted just the ones that I could see in different areas. There was about 20 new cocoons, so that means... I mean, you could hatch anywhere from a couple to maybe seven or ten eggs per cocoon. And um, since it's a mixture of earthworms and red wigglers, I don't know which ones they are. I don't care. They both are fine for fishing. The red wigglers are better for composting. And see all this stuff up on the sides? That's their castings. That's the good stuff that you want. But they haven't turned this bin into all castings yet. So um, it's okay to leave them in here with this current bedding for a while longer. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, look at a little baby worm. I didn't even notice it was there. Oh, there's another one. There's another one right down there. Two little baby worms. I hope none of them got out while I wasn't paying attention. Oh well. Yep, baby worms. I think I'm gonna see if I can get it to, let me see if I can pick it up and yep. Very carefully put it back in the worm bin. Alrighty, your turn, Mr tiny worm at my tiny homestead and see if I can pick you up. Come on. Come on. Put your back. Yep. There we go. Okay. Put the lid on. And I think I'm going to keep this inside for now just because the nights are still getting pretty cold. I mean, they've been out in the van. They seem to have been fine. But there's no reason why I can't bring them to the house. So I am going to bring them into the house and just sit them. Eh, let's get through the door here. I don't know. I'll just sit them over here for right now by the buddy here. That way I can check on them. Worm farms for the win. That's all I got for you today. Say bye, Betty. <laughs> See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.